Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up the Nitrous in my Unity package. And so, so if you want to use any of these bikes in the test scene, they will come pre-set up with the Nitrous working. But if you want to, well, if you want to use your own bikes, it's a bit different to set it up. So I'm just going to go in this empty scene I've got here. And then when you go on to the GAD games to set up a new bike so, so if you need to set up a new bike you should watch the tutorial on how to actually do that but this is just how you can add in the nitrous after so first of all if you've got a bike set up with the old one you'll want to have the nitrous manager script make sure that goes on onto your bike and then just name anything nitrous group or something like that so I'm going to actually just add in a prefab of a bike and then unpack it and get rid of this. So this is like you've got a bike but I need to set up the nitrous. So I'm just going to create the empty and call it nitrous group. Reset the transform and then put it as a child there. And then in the prefabs folder on Nitrous Effects, add in the blue flames as a child there. And then just roughly move this to where you want the flames to come out. I'm going to put that about there. Oh. That about there. And then on the moped, we want to go and add in the visual effects, which is this blue Nitrous particles and the sound effects and then if you want to have the speedo working just grab the speedo from there and then have the moped as the controller for both not just script there and the main camera third person camera finally and put on the moped there so I'm just going to quickly explain what these different variables do so we've got the noxious power here which is either a torque to the back wheel or a forward force and if it, this is checked then it will be a forward force if it's not it will be a torque to the back wheel added for the nitrous and then so in here we've got time to empty tank this means whilst you're holding down the button it will last five seconds before the tanks run out and then time to refill obviously time the tank takes to refill number of tanks and then here we've got save nitrous if this is checked let me just show you what it does press the button once oh so when it is pressed you can use the nitrous and then when you stop it will go back up straight away but when it's unchecked when you press it it will just use the whole tank at once So those are a few things you can play around with to make the bikes be a bit different. So if you've got any suggestions or need any help, just let me know. And I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.